Hello, Leo, the awakened dreamer here to give you your monthly, uh, general monthly tarot reading for the month of May 2021. Thank you so much for joining me. And I do want to take this moment to, of course, remind you, as always, to like this video, leave me a comment. And if you haven't yet, do subscribe to this beautiful channel, on this beautiful channel. And um, when meditating on your lovely energy overall for the week, uh, for the month rather, the message that came through was only just the beginning, only just the beginning. And as we thoroughly cleanse the energy, we're going to begin your reading by pulling a message or two from the Spirit Animal Oracle deck. And as always, do keep in mind, this is a general monthly reading for the sign of Leo. Uh, so take what resonates, leave a dozen for somebody else. And as always, um, make sure to check out your other chart placements for more messages, all right? So to begin for our lovely lions, for our Leos, that was easy. All right, so we have two. So we're beginning with Cat Spirit, Claim Your Independence. So it's this month where you find yourself reaching for what you desire, reaching for all that you deserve in this lifetime. I need to remember as you make your way through the month of May that your independence is something you owe to yourself. That when reaching for what you want, for what you desire at this time, to put aside other people's opinions, to shut out uh, how other people foresee your future unraveling and to remember that you and spirit know what's right for you and then we have koi fish spirit there's always enough and so throughout the month you'll find uh yourself being reminded uh by spirit in the universe that you have enough enough resources enough time to do what you know you need to do to get to the success that lies in uh in the future for you it's a bit of a struggle but you get the point and so we're going to uh, continue by pulling six tarot cards, a simple six card spread for the month, if you will, for our lovely Leos to continue this monthly read for May, of course. Thank you, Spirit. We got one. What else do we have for Leo? Two. Keep them coming for our lions. Well, that was interesting. And they want them all. They actually don't want, just kidding. All right, my friends. So we actually have a bonus card for you. Thank you for your patience. So we're beginning the month in the spread with strength, starting the month off strong with your own energy, feeling like yourself to begin the month, feeling uh, like it's easy to reach for your independence, being side by side with this cat spirit. Uh, a reminder at the beginning of the month from those people around you, uh, whether they're pushed by the, your spirit guides or not, uh, people just randomly reminding you of how strong you are or how important you are to them in one way, shape or form. Feeling like people appreciate you or see you in this strong light and spirit saying, well, yeah, you're a Leo. And we're moving on to the middle of the first half of the month where we have the Seven of Wands. And so, you, <clears throat> excuse me. So you make your way to the middle of the first half of the month and it feels like there's a lot happening around you. It feels like it's a bit chaotic in certain situations that you're wrapped up in, as well as you have a lot on your plate. People needing to reach out to utilize your skill set or people reaching out to catch up or see how Leo's doing. And there's part of you that respects that, that likes that attention, uh, that extra work on your plate, but at times it feels overwhelming. And this middle of the first half of the month just happens to be one of those times. Spirit saying, take a step back when need be and breathe. Allow yourself to do what's right for you and allow yourself to implement a little bit of self-care at this point in the month to make it easier to keep moving forward. And we're moving on to the Hermit for the third card. And so as you make your way to finish up the first half of the month, uh, once again, because things were feeling a bit overwhelming, because you feel the need to do what's right for you, 
you take a step back and you spend a little time within your own energy, excuse me, as I stutter, allowing for this alone time to teach you something about yourself. When you spend time within your, within your own energy, excuse me, when you allow for yourself to shut out um, situations and people temporarily, how do you feel? What thoughts uh, come to be? What habits do you find yourself focusing on or find yourself um, doing often? Allowing yourself to work on certain habits to learn something about yourself and your situation moving forward uh, within this quality uh, alone time. And we're making our way to begin the second half of the month where we have the Ace of Pentacles. And so the beginning of the second half of the month is a time where spirit reminds you of all that lies ahead, all of the financial success. Those of you Leos who have been feeling the stagnation within your financial progress, it's the beginning of the second half of the month where you see things start to move or you're reminded that that will change soon enough. Being aligned with the strength card, you begin the second half of the month feeling just as strong as you did at the beginning of the month. So the beginning of both halves, basically. And it, Spirit's saying this is the perfect time to remind you of your strength, of what lies ahead, of the fresh start within your finances uh, that you have to look forward to. Being side by side with this koi fish spirit. I'm sorry as I space out for a moment. It's also the beginning of the second half of the month where you are reminded that you have enough resources to do what you know you need to do. Reminding you that you are only at the beginning of your success or the beginning of your transformation, depending on where you are. Remember, everybody's on their own path. And allowing for this uh, part of the month to once again teach you something about yourself. Allowing for your connection to spirit and the universe at this time to inspire you to keep moving forward. Moving on to the middle of the second half of the month, we have the world. And so you make your way to the middle of the second half of the month and you are reminded that your world is changing. Uh, reminded that as things transpire and change almost completely, to be one with these changes, to allow for things to unravel as they're meant to. Uh, with the understanding, the better understanding that what is meant to unravel moving forward, 10 times better than what you've dealt with up until this point. Realizing that being aligned with the Seven of Wands all of this hard work, all of the attention, all of the stress at times that you deal with plays a role. Yeah, it has its purpose, if you will, in your world changing and you evolving and all of which evolving. And allowing yourself to once again be content with certain changes that transpire. And we're moving on to the last and final card for the month and spread. We have the Empress. So you finish off the month and you, uh, some of you Leos out there will start something new, whether it's a new job, a new uh, connection, something new begins, even if it's something small. Some of you begin a new hobby and it inspires you, it lights you up, it inspires this new sense, this new glow. Being aligned with the Hermit card, it's allow for this fresh start that's on the horizon or occurring at the end of this month to inspire you to do what's right for you or to continue to do so. To allow for it to remind you that this is once again only the beginning, that there's so much ahead and that you can take time to step back and be within your own energy to do what's right for you to enhance that glow or to bring it back if it went out. Beautiful. Oh, and then the bonus card. We have the King of Pentacles. And so also there's a highlight throughout the month, Leo, where on your confidence, allowing for you when you're finishing, starting off the first and second half of the month, feeling really strong, very much like yourself, feeling like the lion of the jungle, allowing for that feeling to carry through into the following months, the following weeks, allow yourself to uh, show your confidence for all to see letting everybody know or reminding them who you are. You're a Leo. Beautiful. Let's finish off this reading by pulling a message or two. 
on the small star seeds deck for our lovely Leos. Thank you, Spirit. To wrap up this reading. There we go. We've got love. Live your truth and share the love that is in your soul. As you make your way through this month, Leo, allow yourself to speak from the heart. Allow yourself to speak your truth. Allow yourself to, once again, be one with changes that transpire. And be one with the fact that it's just the beginning. All right? With that said and done, I hope this reading was truly helpful, Leo. As always, don't forget to like this video. Leave me a comment and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I hope you have the most amazing month and I'll see you next time. Bye.